The CMV-22 Osprey, a variant of the MV-22, is the Navy's long-range medium-lift aircraft and replaces the C-2 Greyhound for carrier onboard delivery, or COD. Its mission is to fulfill the time-critical logistics requirements by transporting personnel, mail, and priority cargo from advanced bases to sea bases. Naval aviation operating procedures resemble those of normal commercial airlines, with a few differences unique to the carrier environment. This video will clarify tasks and procedures that will be expected from you by your crew. Prior to boarding the aircraft, either on the ship or on shore, you will need to don special equipment, which is required to be worn during your flight. The first item is your flotation device. In the event of a water landing, the LPU-32, or horse collar, is simple to use. Place your head through the opening, pull up the zipper, then wrap the strap around your body and connect the buckle together. If the strap is too short, inform the air crew and an extension strap will be provided. To inflate the LPU, simply pull the beaded handles away from your body. If it doesn't inflate, locate the oral inflation tube inside the collar and manually inflate by simply blowing into the tubes on either side. In the event of a water landing, do not inflate your LPU until you've safely exited the aircraft. The pouch located around your waist contains signaling devices, such as a chemical light, a whistle, and a sea dye marker. All of these devices will aid search and rescue personnel in finding your location. The helmet and hearing protection you are required to wear is called a cranial. To put it on, place the larger of the two protective covers to the back. Open the ear cups and place the cranial on your head. Fasten the chin strap and pull the goggles over your eyes. Once you've donned the safety gear and secured any loose items, you're ready to board the aircraft. Your aircrew will ensure your bags are placed in the cargo container and secured for flight. When walking out to the aircraft, either at the field or on the flight deck, be sure to follow the directions of the aircrew or ATO personnel. When boarding the CMV-22, watch your step when embarking the rear of the aircraft. You'll board and exit the cod via the cargo ramp. Inside the aircraft, you'll notice the seats face each other with your back against the fuselage. Do not place any personal gear or baggage under your seat. As you board the aircraft, do not pick a seat. Walk all the way to the front of the cabin and fill up all of the seats. You may notice that there are only three windows. If you do not get a window seat, don't worry, as you'll be able to see out the cargo ramp in the back of the aircraft. Once you take your seat, you'll need to fasten your seat belt. The seat belts are a four-point harness designed to keep you in your seat during the duration of the flight. To put it on, place the lap belt across your lap. Then locate the shoulder straps and place them over your shoulders. Align the slot on the shoulder straps together and hold them in your left hand. With your right hand, slide the tab of the lap belt through the slots of the shoulder straps. Now insert the tab into the buckle connecting the left and right lap belts together. Tighten your lap belt first by pulling the straps up and away from your hips at a 45 degree angle. Then tighten your shoulder straps by pulling down on the straps. Your air crewman will assist you to make sure you've properly strapped in. In the event of an emergency, or after landing, when instructed by the air crewman, remove your seatbelt. To remove the seatbelt harness, lift the tab to release the buckle, then all four points of the harness will be disconnected. When the pilots are ready for takeoff, you'll feel the aircraft rotors turn up to full power. There'll be a lot of vibrations. At that time, your air crewmen will give each other a thumbs up. A short while later, the aircraft will lift and you'll be airborne. 
In the event of an emergency, there are five emergency exits marked by a yellow dashed outline and green emergency lighting. There are four jettisonable cabin escape hatches, two around the left side windows, one around the right side window, and one in the aft overhead. To operate any of the escape hatches, grasp the yellow and black handle. Press the red arming button with your thumb. Look away, then pull the handle to activate. Push the hatch out. The cabin crew door can also be opened during an emergency. To operate, pull the yellow and black handle, then pull the door inside the cabin. In the event of a water landing, there's a life raft on board. To deploy the raft, locate the turnbuckle and twist it. Push the raft outside the aircraft and pull the lanyard. The raft will inflate. There are provisions for 30 people stored on board. This informational video complements the safety briefing everyone receives inside the aircraft prior to each flight. We hope that you enjoy your flight today. Remember, your aircrew personnel are on board for your safety and comfort. The CMV-22 Osprey is flown by the skilled and professional men and women of the United States Navy. It is our mission to provide the Navy with the personal and parts necessary to keep the carrier strike groups operating day and night, 24-7, any place in the world.